Hi everyone. Here we will be discussing the CSIR NET 30th November 2020 question, which is of the subject the integral equation. Okay, so let's start the question. Okay, so we are given with an integral equation uh, f square of t equals to 1 plus 2 integration from 0 to t f of s ds for all 2 belongs to 0, 1. And we have to choose the true statements from the given options about the solution of this particular integral equation. That is, there is no solution. There is exactly one solution. There are exactly two solutions. There are more than two solutions. So, we will just solve this integral equation and find out the solutions and then we will be choosing the correct statements from the given options. Okay. So, we are given with the integral equation that is f square of t equals to 1 plus 2 0 to t f of s ds. Okay. So, to solve this integral equation, we will be applying the Leibniz rule for one variable. Okay. So, applying Leibniz rule. Okay. So, differentiating this integral equation, we will be getting 2f of t f dash of t equals to it will be twice of okay so for one variable we have we are having uh, f of t which is the upper limit into differentiation of that upper limit that is of t minus f of 0 the lower limit and differentiation of that lower limit with respect to that independent variable okay so this we are getting so that will be equals to 2 f of t f dash of t equals to twice of f of t and differentiation of t will be 1 so that will be 1 into f of t will be f of t and this will be 0 so we are getting this 2 f of t f dash of t equals to 2 f of t okay so we are getting 2 f dash of t f of t equals to f of t twice of f of t okay so just solving this we will be getting uh, twice of f of t f dash of t minus 1 okay equals to 0 so from here we are getting two choices that either f of t is identically 0 for all t belongs to 0, 1 closed interval or, or f dash of t equals to 1. Okay. So, we are having two choices that f of t is identically 0 or f dash of t equals to 1. But we can see from this integral equation that f square of 0 will be equals to 1 because integration from 0 to 0 will be 0. So, f square at 0 will be 1. So, from given integral equation, we are having f square of 0 will be equal to 1, which implies f at 0 will be either plus 1 or minus 1. Okay. So, from here, we can see that f of t can't be identically 0 because at one point of the interval, that is 0, we are getting a known 0 value for f of t. So, f of t can't be identically 0. So, we will have the second choice uh, that is f dash at t equals to 1. So, integrating it, we will be getting integrating it. We will be getting f of t equals to t plus c. Okay. So, we are having this. Now, we have the function f of t equals to t plus c and we have two boundary conditions that is f of 0 equals to plus minus 1. Okay. So, when f of 0 equals to 1 which implies f of 0 equals to 1 equals to t uh, c. 
So that implies c equals to 1. So our function will be f of t equals to t plus 1. Okay. So this is our one solution and second one when f of 0 is minus 1. So in that case f of 0 equals to minus 1 equals to 0 plus c. That implies c equals to minus 1. Okay. So in that case our function will be f of t equals to t minus 1. So this is our second solution. Okay. So from these two conditions we are getting two solutions so there will be exactly two solutions for this integral equation okay so uh, Leibniz rule is Leibniz rule okay for one variable I'm just telling that uh, in that case if we have this f of t integration some phi of t uh, f of t equals to phi of t psi of t okay and some some function which is g of some another variable say s okay so in that case by applying Leibniz rule we will be getting this f dash of t and in that case it will be g of psi of t in place of s into derivative of this upper limit that is psi of t okay then minus sign and then putting lower limit to the uh, in, the, in the place of s g of phi of t into derivative of the lower limit with respect to the t function that is independent variable so d by dt of phi of t okay so this is our Leibniz rule which we applied in the solution of that integral equation okay so in that case our answer will be there exactly two solutions so option c will be correct thank you